Hello everyone, this is Yakalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters method. So, I am going to show you the variation of parameters method in three different ways. Okay, we are going to solve the given problem in three ways using variation of parameters method in three different parts. So, let's get going. Problem solve y double dash minus y equal to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2 or d square minus 1 into y equal to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2 using variation of parameters method. We are given a differential equation of order 2. Given differential equation. y double dash minus y equal to 1 plus e power minus x equal to the power minus 2, right? We know that y double dash or y2 is nothing but d square y by dx square, which is d square, right? We can write y double dash as d square y by dx square minus y equal to 1 plus e power minus x whole to the power minus 2. Consider the first equation as equation number 1. Now we can write d square y by dx square as capital D square y minus y equal to 1 plus e power minus x whole to the power minus 2. Now take y common from the two terms of LHS. We'll get d square plus 1, sorry, d square minus 1 into y equal to RHS part. So consider this equation as equation number 2 which is an operator form say f of d into y equal to some function of x. Where f of d is d square minus 1. Let's now write the homogeneous equation of equation 2. d square minus 1 into y equal to 0. Consider it as equation number 3. Now we need to find the solution to this equation using auxiliary equation and later using that auxiliary equation we will find the solution of 1 and 2 because these two are same equations, right? This is an equation, this equation 1 in operator form. Okay, equation 2 is an equation of 1, I mean operator form of 1 is equation 2. Okay. Let's now find the solution to homogeneous equation using auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, we have f of d, which is d square minus 1, let's replace the differential operator d by m, so that we will get f of m equal to m square minus 1. Now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 1 equals to 0. We need to find the roots to this equation. We can write 1 as 1 square and this is of a square minus b square form, so we can write it as a plus b into a minus b. Now equate each factor to 0, we will get m plus 1 equals to 0, m minus 1 equals to 0. From m plus 1 equals to 0, we will get m equals to minus 1 and from m minus 1 equals to 0, we will have m equal to 1, right? So from this we will get m equal to minus 1, 1, which are real and distinct roots. The roots are real and distinct. Now, we need to find the solution to this equation, right? Homogeneous equation. We know that when two roots are real and distinct, say m1 and m2 are real and distinct, then the solution of homogeneous equation looks like one constant into e power 1 root into x plus another constant into e power another root into x. Here I am taking c3, c4 instead of c1 and c2 because I want c1 and c2 to appear in the last general solution, right? So let's now write the solution to the homogeneous equation. 
the solution of homogeneous equation is y equal to c3 e power let's consider m1 as minus 1 to x plus c4 into e power another root 1 into x right from this we'll get y equal to c3 e power minus x plus c4 e power x which is the solution to our homogeneous equation let y equal to a e power minus x plus b e power x be the general solution of the given equations 1 and 2. Here we have just replaced the constants or parameters with functions of x a and b where a and B are functions of X. Right? This is the solution of homogeneous equation by replacing the constants or parameters with functions of X, A, A and B. Then we'll get the general solution of our given equations. Right? Now we have y equal to a e power minus x plus b e power x which is a solution of 1 and 2 which is nothing but it is a solution of 1 and 2. So we can say that this solution satisfies the equations 1 and 2 right. So we can substitute y and y double dash in equation 1. For that we need to find y double dash right. So let's find y double dash using y and later we'll substitute y and y double dash in equation 1 right let's see we have y equal to a e power minus x plus b e power x right let's find y dash y dash is given by a e power minus x whole dash plus b e power x whole dash here a and b are functions of x right so here we can apply u v whole dash form which is equals to u dash v plus v dash u this gives us a dash e power minus x plus a into e power minus x whole dash plus b dash e power x plus b into e power x whole dash this gives us a dash e power minus x plus a into derivative of e power minus x with respect to x is minus e power minus x plus b dash e power x plus b into derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. This gives us a dash e power minus x plus into minus minus a e power minus x plus b dash e power x plus b e power x. Let's now write the terms involving a dash and b dash. Firstly, we'll get a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x. Now write the terms involving a and b. We have minus a e power minus x plus b e power x. Let's now consider a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x equals to 0 so that a double dash and b double dash will not appear while finding y double dash. Right? If this becomes 0, y dash becomes 0 minus a e power minus x plus b e power x. From this we will get y dash equals to minus a e power minus x plus b e power x. Right? So we got y dash. Now using y dash let's find y double dash. And we will utilize this equation 4 to find a dash and b dash later. Let's now find y double dash. Using y dash we have y dash equals to minus a e power minus x plus b e power x. So y double dash is given by minus a e power minus x whole dash plus b e power x whole dash. Here also we are going to apply uv whole dash formula. This gives us minus of a dash e power minus x plus a into e power minus x whole dash plus b dash e power x plus b into e power x whole dash. This gives us minus of 
a dash e power minus x plus a into derivative of e power minus x with respect to x is minus e power minus x plus b dash e power x plus b into derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. This gives us minus of a dash e power minus x plus into minus minus a e power minus x plus b dash e power x plus b into e power x. Right? This gives us minus a dash e power minus x minus into minus plus a e power minus x plus b dash e power x plus b e power x. Right? Let's now write the terms involving a dash and b dash firstly and later we'll write terms involving a and b. We'll have y double dash equals to minus a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x. Now write the terms involving a and b plus a e power minus x plus b e power x. So finally we got y double dash Right? Let's now substitute y double dash and y in equation 1. We have equation 1 y double dash minus y equal to 1 plus e power minus x power minus 2. Now substitute y and y double dash in 1. We get y double dash is minus a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x plus a e power minus x plus b e power x minus y a e power minus x plus b e power x equal to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2. This gives us minus a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x plus a e power minus x plus b e power x minus a e power minus x minus into plus minus b e power x equals to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2. So here plus a e power minus x minus a e power minus x gets cancelled and plus b e power x minus b e power x gets cancelled, right? This gives us minus a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x equals to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2. Now consider this equation as equation number 5. Let's now solve equation 5 and 4. Right? Let's solve 4 and 5. a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x equals to 0 and minus a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x equals to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2. Here plus a dash e power minus x and minus a dash e power minus x gets cancelled and we'll get 2 b dash b dash e power x plus b dash e power x equals to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2. This gives us b dash e power x plus b dash e power x is 2 b dash e power x equals to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2. From this we will get b dash equals to 1 plus e power minus x raised to the min power minus 2 by 2 into e power x or we can write this as Just consider 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2, okay? We can write e power minus x as reciprocal of e power x and we'll get 1 plus 1 by e power x raised to the power minus 2. Now we can write this as e power x plus 1 by e power x raised to the power minus 2 which is equal to e power x plus 1 raised to the power minus 2 by e power x raised to the power minus 2. Okay. Now we can split this fraction as 1 by e power x raised to the power minus 2 into 
e power x plus 1 raised to the power minus 2. We know that e power x whole power n can be written as e power n into x, right? So we can write e power x raised to the power minus 2 as e power minus 2x, okay, into. Here you're having e power x plus 1 raised to the power minus 2 and we can write this as 1 by e power x plus 1 whole square, right? Since we know that x power minus n can be written as reciprocal of x power n. If we consider x as e power x plus 1, we can write e power x plus 1 raised to the power minus 2 as 1 by x, which is e power x plus 1 raised to the power 2, right? And we can write reciprocal of e power minus 2x as e power 2x into 1 by e power x plus 1 whole square which gives us e power 2x by e power x plus 1 whole square. Right? Now, let's replace 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2 by e power x by e power x plus 1 whole square. Since 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2 equal to e power 2x by e power x plus 1 whole square, then b dash becomes just split this as 1 by 2 e power x into 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2 so that we can just replace 1 plus e power minus x raised to the power minus 2 with e power 2x by e power x plus 1 whole square. It will be easy, right? This gives us, we can write 1 by 2 into 1 by e power x as 1 by 2 into 1 by e power x into e power 2x by e power x plus 1 whole square. Now just write 1 by e power x as e power minus x. You'll get e power minus x into e power 2x by e power x plus 1 whole square which gives us 1 by 2 into e power minus x into e power 2x can be written as e power 2x minus x which is equal to e power x, right? So just replace e power minus x into e power 2x with e power x, you'll get e power x by e power x plus 1 whole square. So finally, you'll get b dash equals to 1 by 2 into e power x by e power x plus 1 whole square. See, we got b dash. Let's now find a dash by substituting b dash in equation 4. We have equation 4. a dash e power minus x plus b dash e power x equals to 0. From this we'll get a dash e power minus x equals to minus b dash e power x, right? Let's now substitute b dash. We'll get minus 1 by 2 into e power x by e power x plus 1 whole square into e power x, right? And we can write e power minus x as reciprocal of e power x since e power minus x equals to 1 by e power x. Now, take this e power x to RHS, we'll get a dash equals to minus 1 by 2 into e power x into e power x into this e power x by e power x plus 1 whole square which gives us minus 1 by 2 into e power e power x plus e power x plus e power x which is e power x whole cube or e power 3x, right? So we got a dash we got a dash and b dash right let's now find a and b let's find a using a dash equals to minus 1 by 2 into e power 3x by e power x plus 1 whole square okay let e power x plus 1 equals to some and here a dash is nothing but derivative of a with respect to x right which is equal to minus 1 by 2 e power 3x 
into sorry by e power x plus one whole square. Now let's separate the variables by taking differential dx to IHS. We'll get dA equal to minus one by two e power three x by e power x plus one whole square into dx. Okay. Let e power x plus one equals to some t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x plus derivative of a constant with respect to x is zero equal to derivative of t with respect to x. From this, we'll get e power x equals to dt by dx. Now just bring this differential dx to LHS then we'll get e power x dx equals to dt. Right? Then since the variables are separable so we can perform integration. Okay? Minus 1 by 2 into integral e power 3x by e power x plus 1 whole square into dx. Let's now split this e power 3x as e power 2x into e power x, right? And we can write e power 2x as e power x whole square since e power nx equals to e power x whole power n, right? Then we'll get integral dA equal to minus 1 by 2 into e power x whole square in by e power x plus 1 whole square into e power x dx, okay? I'll write it again. Just write e power 2x as e power x whole square, okay? By e power x plus 1 whole square into e power x dx. Now we can just replace e power x plus 1 with t. And replace e power x with, when e power x plus 1 equals to t, we'll get e power x equals to t minus 1, right? So let's replace e power x with t minus 1 and replace e power x dx with dt. Then this becomes integral dA equal to minus 1 by 2 integral of t minus 1 whole square by t square, right? Into replace e power x dx with dt, right? So here you're having t minus 1 whole square by t square. I'll just consider that instead of making number of steps t minus 1 whole square just expand it using a minus b whole square formula we get t square plus 1 minus 2t by t square this gives us here we are having three terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split this into three terms we'll get t square by t square plus 1 by t square minus 2 into t by t square right which gives us 1 plus 1 by t square minus 2 into 1 by t. Okay. Now replace t square minus 1 whole square by t square with 1 plus 1 by t square minus 2 into 1 by t. Since t minus 1 whole square by t square equals to 1 plus 1 by t square minus 2 into 1 by t, then the above equation becomes integral dA equal to minus 1 by 2 integral of 1 plus 1 by t square minus 2 into 1 by t into dt, right? This gives us integral dA equal to minus 1 by 2 into integral 1 into dt as dt plus integral 1 by t square dt minus 2 integral 1 by t dt, right? This gives us... Now, let's write 1 by t square as t power minus 2. Okay, and the remaining terms will be as it is.
so from this we'll get integral da a equal to minus 1 by 2 of integral dt d plus integral d power minus 2 dt is d power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 into integral 1 by t dt is log mod t plus integral constant say c1 this gives us a equal to minus 1 by 2 of t plus t power minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus 2 log t plus c1 which is equal to minus 1 by 2 of t minus 1 by t minus 2 log t plus c1 right we got a equals to minus 1 by 2 into t minus 1 by t minus 2 log t plus c1 right let's replace t with e power x plus 1 since t equal to e power x plus 1 then a becomes minus 1 by 2 of e power x plus 1 minus 1 by e power x plus 1 minus 2 log of e power x plus 1 plus c1. Let's now find b using b dash equals to 1 by 2 into e power x by e power x plus 1 whole square. Again let e power x plus 1 equals to some t or p or q better. Then we'll have just differentiate on both sides with respect to x okay and here just b dash is nothing but db by dx derivative of b with respect to x right so let's replace the b dash with derivative of b with respect to x equals to 1 by 2 into e power x of e power x plus 1 whole square let's now separate the variables by taking differential dx to rhs and we'll get db equal to 1 by 2 d power x by e power x plus 1 whole square into dx right here the variables are separable so we can perform integration integral db equal to 1 by 2 integral e power x by e power x plus 1 whole square into dx let e power x plus 1 equals to q then just differentiate on both sides with respect to x this gives us derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x plus derivative of 1 with respect to x which is constant with respect to x is 0 equal to dq by dx this becomes from this we'll get e power x dx equals to dq now just replace e power x plus 1 with q and e power x dx can be replaced by dq then we'll get integral db equal to 1 by 2 integral dx into sorry e power x into dx can be replaced with dq and e power x plus 1 by 2 i mean sorry e power x plus 1 whole square can be replaced with q so that you'll get 1 by q square or you can just write this as 1 by e power x plus 1 whole square into e power x dx okay see we have just replaced e power x dx with dq and e power x plus 1 is replaced by q right now write 1 by q square as q power minus 2 from this we'll get integral db b equal to 1 by 2 into integral q power minus 2 into dq is q power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus integral constant say c2 this equals to 1 by 2 into q power minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by minus 1 plus c2 this gives us b equals to minus 1 by 2 into 1 by q plus c2 since q equals to e power x plus 1 just replace it 
then we'll get b equal to minus 1 by 2 into 1 by e power x plus 1 plus c2 right so we got a and b let's now write the general solution using y equals to a e power minus x plus b e power x The general solution is given by y equal to a e power minus x plus b e power x. Just substitute a and b here. We have a minus 1 by 2 of e power x plus 1 minus 1 by e power x plus 1 minus 2 log of e power x plus 1 plus c1 into e power minus x plus b minus 1 by 2 or 1 by e power x plus 1 plus c2 into e power x this gives us minus 1 by 2 into e power x of e power x plus 1 right minus into minus plus 1 by 2 into e power minus x into See, this is e power minus x, okay? 1 by e power x plus 1 minus into minus plus 2 by 2 e power minus x into log of e power x plus 1, okay? Plus c1 e power minus x plus into minus minus e power x into 1 by 2 times e power x plus 1 plus c2 e power x here 2 gets cancelled okay this gives us y equal to minus e power minus x of e power x plus 1 by 2 plus e power minus x by 2 times e power x plus 1 plus e power minus x log of e power x plus 1 plus c1 e power minus x minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1 plus c2 e power x right now write the terms involving c1 and c2 firstly we will get c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power x now write the term involving log we will have plus e power minus x log of e power x plus 1 now write the remaining three terms 1 2 3 minus e power minus x of e power x plus 1 by 2 plus e power minus x by 2 times e power x plus 1 minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1. Okay, let's now simplify the last three terms separately. Consider this as asterisk. Okay, for our convenience. Now consider the last three terms minus e power minus x of e power x plus 1 by 2 plus e power minus x by 2 times e power x plus 1 minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1. Okay, this gives us minus e power minus x of e power x plus 1 by 2. Here we can take 1 by 2 e power x plus 1 common from these two terms, right? So, let's take 1 by 2 of e power x plus 1 common from the next two terms. We'll get e power minus x minus e power x. Okay, or we can write it as plus e power minus x minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1. Now take the LCM of 2 and 2 times e power x plus 1. Okay. 2 ones are 2 into e power x plus 1s. 
e power x plus 1 into 1, right? So, I'll sum is 2 times e power x plus 1. So, in the denominator of first term, we have 2. So, close to and multiply e power x plus 1 to this numerator. We'll get minus e power minus x into e power x plus 1 into e power x plus 1 plus in the denominator of second term, you are having 2 into e power x plus 1. You have 2 into e power x plus 1. So, we need nothing to be multiplied to this numerator. So, just write as it is. Right? This gives us minus e power minus x into e power x plus 1 into e power x plus 1 is e power x plus 1 whole square. Right? Plus e power minus x minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1. This gives us minus e power minus x of e power x plus 1 whole square is e power x whole square plus 1 plus 2 into e power x, right? Plus e power minus x minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1, right? This gives us So I am going to write the same step. This equals to minus e power minus x of e power x plus 1 whole square is e power x whole square plus 1 plus 2 into e power x plus e power minus x minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1. Right? This equals to minus e power minus x of e power x whole square since e power x whole power n can be written as e power n into x. So, we can write e power x whole square as e power 2x plus 1 plus 2 into e power x plus e power minus x minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1. This gives us minus e power 2x into e power minus x minus into plus minus e power minus x minus into plus minus 2 e power minus x into e power x plus e power minus x minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1. So here minus e power minus x and plus e power minus x gets cancelled and we'll get minus e power 2x into e power minus x is just at the pause you'll get e power x e power 2x minus x is x so that you'll get e power 2x into e power minus x is e power x minus 2 into e power minus x into e power x you can just write e power minus x as reciprocal of e power x and cancel e power x you'll get 1 right 2 into 1 minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1 This gives us minus e power x minus e power x is minus 2 e power x minus 2 into 1 is 2 by 2 times e power x plus 1. Now take minus 2 common from the numerator then you will get minus 2 times e power x plus 1 right by 2 times e power x plus 1. So here 2 2 and e power x plus 1 gets cancelled you will get minus 1. So you can just replace the three terms with minus 1, right? Let's see. You can write the above equation as the first three terms remains the same plus of minus e power minus x of e power x plus 1 by 2 plus e power minus x by 2 times e power x plus 1 minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1, right? Since minus e power minus x of e power x plus 1 by 2 plus e power minus x by 2 times 
e power x plus 1 minus e power x by 2 times e power x plus 1 equal to minus 1. So the equation becomes y equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power x plus e power minus x log of e power x plus 1. Just replace this term with minus 1, you'll get minus 1, which is the required general solution. Therefore, y equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power x plus e power minus x log of e power x plus 1 minus 1 is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from variation of parameters method in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.